Bắt đầu. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are students from Vietnam National University. First of all, we would like to send our warmest greetings to all of you. And today is such an honor for us to be here to present our invention, which is called monitoring and controlling the environment in aquaculture in cages. As you know, fishery sector plays a vital role, not only in human health, but also in economic growth. However, climate changes, namely salination, prolonged hot weather have become one of the biggest challenges for the aquaculture industry. So, sprout from these difficulties, our team has come up with an invention to solve the problem. We create a system that can monitor the water source. We focus on some of the most significant factors that really affect the quality of water, such as temperature, pH value, and TDS value. To measure temperature, we use the DS 18B training temperature sensor, which is made based on turbo effect. The glass electrode sensor is used to detect the pH value of the environment. And last but not least, the TDS sensor, which is mainly an electrical charge meter, whereby two electrodes are indulged in water, are used to measure the TDS of the environment. We set up for more accurate and real time data acquisition. We set up different nodes in cages that are connected to the central to a water sensor network a 2.4 year high frequency. Uh, it plays one of these parameters in one of these stations, which threshold the center will be alerted and uh, will automatically control the aerator to avoid the fish being shocked by changes in the environment. In terms of energy matter, we use mostly solar energy and electrical energy, which are eco-friendly. Last but not least, we set up solar panels and battery banking so that the system can work a very low power consumption or with a power, with a power line. These are some advanced features of our, of our invention. If our invention were applied to all of the world, it would help improve the natural habitat, reduce diseases and increase the fishing yield. So, that brings us to the end of our presentation. Please feel free to ask us if you have any questions. We are willing to discuss with you further about our project. And now let me give you our summary to gain a better understanding about our project. And let me show you how the system works in reality. So as I have mentioned before, all the information will be acquired and then processed. Then they will be encoded and transmitted to the central right here. If one or more parameters reach threshold, the system will be automatically alerted and control the aerator. In this case, we are changing the temperature conditions. So as you can see, when the uh, temperature reaches uh, threshold, the uh, aerator is turned on and, con and control the environment. On the other hand, when the environment stabilizes, which means the temperature is under 30 degrees, as you can see in here, um, the uh, aerator is turned off and the system works normally again.